Hey guys, so now that we've studied combinations, we are now coming to the permutation side of this chapter, where permutations is simply the arrangement of objects and order does matter. Let's have a look at an example. Let's say we have three different objects, a green ball, a red ball, and a yellow ball. And they've asked us to arrange these three balls. In how many ways can this be done? Well, we studied this earlier in the factorial chapter that three objects can simply be arranged in three factorial ways. How? Because the first position can be occupied by either the green ball, red ball, or yellow ball. So there are three options here. For the second position, once we have already selected one for the first position, we have two options. And lastly, for the final position, we are left with one option. And that is how the factorial comes about, that we have three factorial ways of arranging three objects. So if you want to look at the general form, the general form of arranging n different objects, it is simply n factorial. So now let's come to case one. Case one is the simplest case where it is the permutation of n different objects. So simply we need to use n factorial to arrange n different objects. Let's look at question one. It says, how many permutations are there of the letter star? So there are four different objects and they need to find the permutations of four different letters. So all we need to do is calculate four factorial, which is 24. And now in the next question, it says, in how many ways can nine different books be arranged on a shelf? Well, once again, there are nine different books and nine positions for us to arrange the books. So all we need to do is 9 factorial, which is 362880. And now for the last question, it says, in how many ways can five girls be arranged in a straight line? Well, there is nothing new about this question. We have five girls, we need to arrange them in a line. So it is just 5 factorial, which is 120.